everyone. <laughs> Welcome to uh, Cooking with the Claw. So I've spent many years just kind of creating recipes of my own, as well as family recipes. So I thought, well, what better way to share some of the things and tricks and all the things I've learned, but do a little YouTube channel. Um, I'm Bobby, in case you don't know me. I'm also known by as White Claw or Bobby White Claw, just a nickname that I was given. And uh, it's because I like White Claws. I mean, who doesn't, right? They're so good. Actually, right now I just poured a, uh, this is a mango white claw with um, orange juice. And it's really refreshing and good. <laughs> so first I'm going to go over what we need in order to make our dish and the ingredients, uh, the ingredients as well as the items that you'll need to prepare the dish. And today's dish, I have to say is a personal family favorite. So we're gonna make something fun today and we're gonna do it in honor of Caroline and actually in honor of her mom, Rita, Mama Rita, who's no longer with us, but she left behind just some great recipes and things that she used to make. And one of them that we're gonna make today is sausage rolls. And they're gonna be sausage roll bites. They're little tiny, little tiny sausage rolls. They're so good. When I very first met Caroline, uh, I had to meet her parents for the first time. And it was right around the holidays and that's when Traditionally, everybody likes to make sausage rolls in our family. Because I went over to Caroline's mom and dad's house and I sat down with them and on a hot plate in the corner was these little tiny sausage bites and they said, have some. I tasted one and I'm like, oh my gosh, what is this? So good. And I think I proceeded to probably eat the whole thing. But anyway, that being said, they were so good and I was hooked. Uh, fell in love with uh, Caroline and her family and of course, the food, sausage rolls, curries, all those good things that Caroline's mom used to make, and we're gonna make some of those on this channel too, as well as some of my family recipes. Because there ain't no laws when you're drinking claws. And the reason I say that is these sausage rolls are so good, they should be illegal. Okay, everyone, so this is pretty much all the ingredients you're gonna need in order to make this dish. You wanna clear off a nice space um, to prepare the dish, either on a cutting board or like this as well with some uh, parchment paper you can put down to prepare. And of course, some claws. And for the sausage rolls themselves, it's pretty basic as far as the ingredients. We pretty much always use the Farmer John pork sausages um, with the puff pastry. You can use any kind of sausage you want. Um, for this particular recipe, we are gonna use an air fryer, uh, which is right here. So we're gonna prepare these in an air fryer today, but they can be also made in an oven. First up, we're gonna have our sausage laid out on some parchment paper. We're just gonna take each sausage, and what you wanna do is take your hand, make sure your hands are clean, you've washed them, like mine, and you just wanna roll it kinda evenly, like so. Just kinda go side to side, like so. Okay, so I wanted to show you, see this was our original sausage, the way it came out of the package, and this is the sausage now. So it pretty much gives you almost like two, two lengths of sausage out of uh, one roll with the hand. Okay, so when the sausages are all rolled out, uh, carefully place them in the pan here, like so. It's good. Sausages are cooking. In the meantime, this drink I wanted to mention is called uh, the, the Easy Life uh, for my boy Joe. Alrighty then, so the sausages are now starting to sizzle. In the meantime, while those are cooking up, I'm gonna show you our next step. Okay, so while those sausages are sizzling up and cooking, real quick, what you wanna do is lay out your puff pastry as shown here. What you wanna do is take your rolling pin, we're just gonna kinda roll this out, kinda maximize how much dough and pastry we get out of it. All right, these are looking great. I think these are just about done. All right, we are looking good. So here's our sausages. And you, but the way you want to do is you want to put them on a paper towel like that, just like you would to get any excess uh, oil or grease from the sausage. These guys are a little bit uh, greasy sausages, but they are yummy. Okay, so we're gonna get all the extra grease off, all the extra oil, so they look just like that. Okay, so we're gonna put the egg into the third cup of water, just kind of beat it up real good so we get more bang for our buck. Okay, so what you're going to want to do once you have your puff pastry uh, rolled out, 
You're gonna take three sausages like so. They should fill up uh, a row. And we're gonna just turn them over like that. And make a little pocket. Press down with your fingers on the other side to kind of trap it in there. Um, the ends you wanna probably just pinch off a little bit like that. Just like so. Take your knife, you don't wanna to use too much extra dough because you wanna save it for the rest of them. the rolls. Let's just go right down like that, straight down. Pull it away. Again, make sure it's firmly pressed together, like so. And then next step, you're gonna go ahead and just cut these into about one inch pieces, just like so. Boom. You got six pieces out of those three sausages. You wanna take your egg wash and your brush and just go over each one of these. It'll give it a nice uh, golden brown texture, nice and flaky. It'll make the rolls. Also, it'll help hold the um, sausage rolls together as well. <clears throat> so just like so. I wanna go ahead and get the air fryer prepped. And we're gonna set this for 360. Get it going so it's kind of uh, preheated. You just wanna spray the bottom of that. And then we're gonna take our sausage rolls that are ready to be entered. In All right, these bad boys are ready to go. Let's get them in the air fryer. And here we go. All right, they're in there now for 360. We're gonna set the timer for 13 minutes. Okay, so it's been three minutes. Let's take a peek. Looking good. Kinda shake them up a little bit. Way they don't stick. Looking good. Go back in, guys. Food this good should be against the law when you're cooking with the claw. Okay, 13 minutes is up. Let's see how they look. Oh my. Would you look at that? Mmm. Mmm. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, time for the claw. We're gonna take them out and just put them directly onto a plate. Just let them cool off. And sit up a little bit more. And you can see this guy here, this is what happens. See, this guy is very naughty. He didn't close up. That's what happens when it's not sealed good enough. Dun, dun, dun. Sausage roll bites 2019. Yay! Okay, so it's time for the moment of truth. Sausage roll bites are done. And let's just take one here. Look at this. Look at this guy here. Doesn't he look great? Looking good. Okay, let's try it. Mm. I like to get them all over myself. Mm. So good. They're really savory um, and just flaky. And buttery. I think Caroline's going to love it. And it's going to remind her of the sausage rolls that her mom used to make. Yeah. Mama Rita, these are for you. Hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving. It's coming up in a couple days. Wanted to get this video done. You know, one more idea of a little something you could have for a holiday party, uh, for Thanksgiving, Christmas, whatever you celebrate. This is Bobby Whiteclaw signing off. We'll be seeing you soon. Cheers, everybody.